recording. Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World and we talk about entertainers. We talk about people that are in the news. Okay and I'm trying to get this centered here for us to talk about Cynthia and Miss Kenya Moore and how the Three Musketeers, that being Cynthia, Candy, and, well, I should say the dynamic duo, dumbest. Yeah, I'm like that prince. Candy and uh, Cynthia spearheaded for Kenya Moore to get back on the show of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They didn't stop until she got back on. And Kenya, Kenya was so ever grateful for that. But now it seems like Kenya, since she started uh, her little show with Dancing with the Stars, she doesn't seem like she done kicked the melanated skin girls to the curb. And she done got her some new sets of friends. <laughs> I like Kenya ain't got it. She ain't got it all, y'all. But she know how to keep it entertaining. Child, I was on YouTube and I saw access or you know they were talking about dancing with the stars and kenya and her partner they had flew up some steps and cost them some points but she's still in the running so do vote for her if y'all want to see her win the little crystal ball or the um disco ball dancing with the stars honey but yeah cynthia's out in the wind like nene trying to keep it afloat all right but some commentator or some interviewer was asking for the record how she felt about her former castmate in the real housewives of Atlanta. how did she feel about her leaving and honey miss swirl just kept it cute and simple because the eyes were on her it was about her not cynthia she gave a two second interview on what she felt about miss cynthia leaving and she got on back to her <laughs> i said poor cynthia she did all that trying to get her back on the show and now she's ex exiting the show not of her own doing she can say whatever she want to but ain't nobody finna jump from no one million dollar or one million and a half or almost two million for a season okay they ain't gonna let it go they're gonna drain it until they say okay we don't want you no more you could be cast as a friend but we cutting your paycheck expeditiously okay and you know if you want to do it okay fine but we're not paying you to be bucks anymore so i guess uh her husband like i said on my previous video probably said uh-uh you don't need to be with them at all something else will come through just drop them like a bad habit and keep it moving but anyway i got this video i want y'all to listen to that kenya moore was on and they were interviewing her about dancing with the stars and this that and the third and it was just a cute little interview where she didn't really say anything about Cynthia Bailey, like wanting her to stay. But let me let y'all listen to it. And then I'll come back with my commentary. Well, you know, it wasn't my best. I kind of loved the first steps. So, um, you know, for me, I was disappointed in myself. And I feel like I let Brandon down because it did cost us those valuable points. But, you know, wipe the slate clean. Get back, on the horse. Get back on the horse. That's what's great about Dancing with the Stars is minus the first two weeks, your scores don't pass over, your votes don't pass over. Every single week, anybody has a chance to get beat or to make a name for themselves. So, well, next week we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make a name. Yes. I love it. And next week is Britney week, which is very exciting. Are you guys fans? Is there anything you can tease for us about next week? I'm certainly a fan. I love, love, love Britney Spears. I've been watching her since, you know, she was this young girl and she blossomed and she became like this young icon. And um, we just want to free Britney. You know what I mean? We want to free her. Freedom. <laughs> I 
love it. I'm right there with you, Free Brittany. I'm sure your dance will be absolutely in support of that next week. We're excited to see it. Unfortunately, this week there was some news that Cheryl had tested positive for COVID. How was the vibe in the ballroom after finding out that news? And how are you guys feeling in terms of safety and all that? Well, I think the vibe was like we were all really concerned. Um, we all love Cheryl, um, and we're getting to know Cody and love him to death, too. And so I think initially we were like, okay, are they okay? Once we found out they were okay, and then it was like we turned our attention to ourselves. Like, okay, what can we do better? Do we need to keep our mask on in the ballroom? Do we need to, like, never hug anyone? Like, you know, so we just started, started to really examine how we're doing our yes. day-to-day and to figure that part out. Got it. And have either of you guys been in touch with Cheryl or Cody? Just for me, like a text yeah. or something, it's like making sure she's okay. Of course. But um, yeah, we're, we're rooting for them to come back. You know, hopefully they'll be back soon and be better than ever. I love it. And we're excited to have them back. And this was actually, Kenya, a crazy day for you, not only dancing with the stars, but we got some wild Real Housewives news that Cynthia is actually going to be leaving the show after 10 10- seasons 10 seasons on the show which is insane how are you feeling about that i'm sad to see her go but she was an amazing housewife 10 seasons 11 seasons of being just this classy amazing um beautiful friend to me um when when i came on the show um sad to see her go but i think she's going she's not going very far oh, absolutely. yeah <laughs> Got it. And do you have any of your Real Housewives cast members cheering you on, either from Atlanta yeah, or any of the other Sonia, franchises? And Sonia, um, Countess Luann, uh, Kyle, uh, every, literally Lisa Rinna. So, like, all of them have been retweeting, vote for me. Um, you know, I am excited. I'm tr- trending like number one each week on Twitter. And I know it's not just because of me. I know they have a hand in that. <laughs> we love the support. Yeah. That is incredible. amazing. No, we love the Housewife fans. And I have to know, my last question for you, has Andy said anything to you? What does Andy think of your dancing? He texted me last week. He was like, good job, exclamation mark, exclamation, exclamation. I was like, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. If Andy approves, we all approve. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Great job. And I'm excited Thank to see your dance you. next week. So let the record show. See, she had more time defending uh, her Caucasian and Jewish and I think Italian friends saying they were rooting her on and all of this, that, and the third. But hold on. But they were, uh, she didn't say anything about her melanated friends. Okay. <laughs> my African American friends on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She said, Oh yeah, Candy's rooting for me. Oh yeah, Cynthia's rooting for me. Oh yeah, Nene Portia. You know, I'm like, she just forgot about uh her African American group. I was like, What the word Candy doing? She really trying to phase it out? Is she really think she's the queen? The uh the uh madam or something of the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Okay. It's just about her. It's her show. And that's it. I tell you the truth. So much is going on. So much is going on. And so little is being said. Okay. About Cynthia and Kenya's friendship. You know. It may not be as strong as it once was. Y'all. That's what the streets are saying. They saying. Honey. Kenya done traded her in. Traded her in like a used car. And now she got a new model. She driving. And can you just see it all for herself? Ooh, she's in the spotlight. She's in the spotlight. I tell you, what about your friends? Will they let you down? Will they stand their ground? Yeah, yeah. You know, Cynthia was the flip-flopper, okay? She was strong. She held Nene down. Then when Nene couldn't do her no more good, she saw the lights going out for Nene. Nene with Bravo, she jumped on Kenya's side, thinking Kenya going to stay her behind. And look where she at, y'all. At the door with Nene. <laughs> so she need to be back. Uh, knock it on Nene Doe trying to sign a new friendship contract and trying to get back in cahoots with her because it seems like they letting all the OGs go. They letting them go. 
Okay, Candace seemed like she's going to be next. Eva was never really in there. But, yeah, Cynthia was one of the first starters along with Nene and Sheree and all that good stuff. But now they just want some young blood up in there. And Kenya definitely can bring it every episode of each new season. I don't know why we didn't make Shamia an uh, uh, honorary housewife where we could see more of her family lifestyle and dynamics. I mean... She would have been more interesting than uh, bringing Sheree back. You know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. She would have been more as an asset. Because we could have saw how her husband get down with his culture. What they do. Or then he might be totally Americanized. He may not get so much into his culture life. But it still would have been nice to see. But I guess he said, uh-uh, don't bring that mess over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can fail with them women all day long. Them your friends, you go ahead, but they ain't coming up in my house. They ain't finna, they ain't finna watch nothing that I do because some things I do may not be kosher for television. But these are the ones Kenya went um to that ultimate girls trip that they did. That's gonna be showing a peacock. So them are her solidified friends now, honey. She don't kick kick this kick Cynthia to the car running. Yes, she did, and she riding on another horse. <laughs> <laughs> I like Lord have mercy. Kenya gonna be in Beverly Hills or New York for it's over with being one of them housewives. Cause that's what she wanna be. That's what she wanna be. She spent most of her time in New York anyway. I don't know if it's just to be closer to Mark or just giving Brooklyn that avenue a closer scene to her dad. I have no idea. Cause Mark ain't acting right. But we this this video ain't about Mark. We ain't gonna include him. Okay, we don't want to know nothing about him. Cause we sure don't want her to make a storyline out of him and going to court and him, you know, want her, uh, what is it? Hey, Chateau Charade, that's uh, what? Uh, Kenya Moore Manor. Yes, we, we don't want to hear about him wanting more man and all that kind of stuff. Because it could have been a cute storyline with them bashing him. But of course, she didn't let Kenya do it. She wouldn't let Cynthia cut up his clothes, those fake clothes that Kenya had in that closet. Saying Mark was here in Atlanta when God knows he wasn't. It was tag still left him like bad editing. Or maybe they wanted us to have that little tea to talk about it for those who had eyes to see. Okay. But yeah, Cynthia was going to cut them clothes up because she was too fit to be tied with Ma treating Kenya that way because that was her best buddy, you know, her bestie. And she was like, Cynthia, put them, put them seals down because uh, Kenya wanted to go back and get her refund. <laughs> it was a cute closet made for a man, a king to be up there, you know, having his space and having his clothes directly where he can look at them and decide which one he want to put on. You know, like a female closet. Walk-in closet. But, uh, oh, let the record show. Kenya is only her own friend. She is her best friend and she don't need friends. Okay? She really don't. She just need associates. She need people she can um, act with or play a role with. And that's all. She ain't loyal, honey. She only loyal to herself. And Br baby Brooklyn at this time. Okay? But y'all, that's all I had of that this video. I, I just I was chuckling. I was I was chuckling my behind off because I was like the interviewer asked I guess she wanted her to elaborate a little bit more than what Kenya was giving. And Kenya was like, mm mm, I'm not giving Cynthia none of my airtime. This is all about me dancing with the stars, bringing myself out as a solo entity. Okay, I want to make moves sh and, 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 and uh, sign other contracts because I know Real Housewives of Atlanta ain't going to be down too long for me. So I'm going to capitalize on much money as I possibly can. And then I'm going to transfer boats and I pr I'm going to leave when I'm going to leave. Probably ain't going to kick me out the door like they did Nene and Cynthia and a, a whole cast of others, you know. Uh, Sheree Whitfield, um, what's the name? Um... Lisa Wu. Whew, we just go on down the line if we really continue to think about it. But I don't want to think about it too far. And I'm sure Ken is trying to rack up her duckies because they know she's the next highest paid or, or she's supposed to be the highest paid. Yeah, they're going to let her go too. So hopefully she'll be ready to go and won't be thrown out like they did Nene and Cynthia and some of the other franchise housewives of different states. Okay. 
that's all I have for this video, guys. I just thought y'all wanted a cute chuckle. Y'all wanted to listen to what I was listening to. And try to make your own decisions on how can you just toss friendship aside when it's talking about that dollar. <laughs> Girl. Kenya is a classic. That's all I can say. She is made for TV. She's going to play the part that they give her to the hilt. And she's going to bring home the bacon. Okay. She's going to bring home the bacon. She's her own queen, honey. And I ain't got nothing but love for her. Because she, she delivers. She delivers, honey. She delivers on spot. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, and you want to have more of these type of videos, okay, please like, share, and comment. I love y'all comments, okay? You ought to be scared. Put them comments down now. But like, share, and what is it? Like, share, and share. Wait a minute. Like, sh like share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.